A cover letter can make or break your job or internship application. I'm Megan Boone with MSU Career Services and I'm going to be sharing a few tips so your cover letter will stand out from other applicants. A cover letter is your chance to prove that you have good written communication skills, indicate exactly how you match the requirements for the position, and market yourself for the specific position for which you are applying. In talking to many employers, I often hear that a well-written cover letter will never hurt your application, but it will only help you. Take the time to write a strong cover letter and have someone in career services review it for you. You want to start by demonstrating your professionalism, so be sure to use a business format for your letter. Your address at the top, followed by a date, and the name and address of the hiring manager. It's important to try to find an individual's name to which to address the letter. Try looking online or calling the company and asking. If you are still unable to find the correct name for the salutation, use hiring manager or hiring personnel rather than the generic dear sir or madam. As you write the body of your cover letter, there is a commonly used structure that we recommend you follow. You'll want to start by indicating the specific position for which you are applying. I'll go into more detail as to what to include in the second paragraph, which is the main focus of your cover letter. In the final paragraph, indicate your interest in an interview. Be sure to provide your phone number and or email address so that the employer can easily follow up with you. It's also a nice touch to be sure to thank the employer for their consideration. When you begin to write a cover letter, you want to start with a specific job description and understand the key skills or qualifications that the employer is seeking. Looking at this job description, what skills would you need for this position? Maybe ability to come up with an idea and research and develop content, display writing material in print and on the web, these are some of the skills sought for this particular job description. The bad statement is generic and focused on what you want. Employers could care less. The bottom line for most organizations is what you'll be able to contribute and contribute quickly. So keep your cover letter focused on why they should want you. The better statement gives much more information than you can tell from a resume and proves that this candidate has what it takes to do the job. Stating what managers have said is a good way to back up your statements. In the, this middle paragraph of the cover letter, the candidate has shown that they have the ability to come up with an idea and research and develop content, as well as to display writing material in print and on the web. They've done a good job of matching their cover letter to the specific job description. You want to have a well-written cover letter that is going to separate you from the crowd. These tips can make sure you have a great cover letter. In particular, point out why you are interested in that organization. For instance, does their mission match your values? Do their values match you? Doing your research will help you tailor the cover letter for the specific organization. If you met a representative from the company at Moorhead State University's career fair, then be sure to mention that in your cover letter. You always want to jog their memory about previous encounters. You want to be sure your cover letter adds to your application. You don't want to just summarize information already available from your resume. That's just a waste of space and space is already limited. Don't include generic self-centered statements such as I'm seeking a position that will utilize my communication skills as well as allow me to grow. Don't tell the employer what you want. 
and especially in those generic terms. Tell them why they should want you. And be specific. Use the space in your cover letter to elaborate on examples of how you have used what it takes to be successful in the job. On your resume, you may have simply listed Excel under your skills section, but in your cover letter, you can give specific details on how you've used Excel. A cover letter is a professional correspondence, so be sure to use business block style and be polite. I've talked about application cover letters in this presentation, but be aware that there are other types of job search letters that might be beneficial to you. You might want to write a networking or prospecting letter reaching out to an organization that doesn't currently have an opening. A thank you letter is also a must after an interview. Career Services is here to assist you with any correspondence used during your job or internship search. We recommend that you schedule an appointment to have your cover letter reviewed. Get started now marketing yourself to employers for internships and full-time opportunities.